You raised your hand. We yes. saw it. We saw it. Well, I had a, with I, Esther's eyes. I had a question about thoughts. So I read that 30 to 50 percent of people don't have an inner monologue, and I've been wanting to ask you about that. We disagree. I agree. I disagree too. <laughs> But rather than protesting that, we'd like to advocate that 100% of you are transmitting and receiving mechanisms and you've got a whole lot more going on. And you're translating a lot of that into a continuous stream of thought. But sometimes you don't feel like you want to say what's on your mind because you're worried about how it will be received. And that's what's going on here. In other words, there's a lot you'd like to talk about, but you've been surrounded by humans who have been observing you and from your perspective, judging what's coming out of you. And so you've sort of deliberately stifled that inner monologue. You've turned it into an inner monologue. The reason that people say you have no inner monologue is because you're not letting your inner monologue come out to their outer monologue so that they can hear it with their outer ears, you know? So, so what? Um. So what is it that you feel and want to talk about or think about that you don't want to talk about? <laughs> if it has something to do with past, your inner being is not really encouraging you to activate it into the now do any of you ever feel like this she's talking with infinite intelligence and she cannot find the question and <laughs> well you've been great so far <laughs> um, I guess I'm afraid to to talk to people and especially the people closest to me because I'm not happy with what I've been doing with my life and I worry about what they'll say we want to say everything to you all at once you ready <laughs> <laughs> but the most important thing that we want to say to you is that they're not as interested as you think they are <laughs> They're more, they're more interested in their life. But what you think about what they think has you all wadded up. And so if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would not try to get anybody to understand where we are because nobody can really understand where you are. But we would calibrate to our inner being's point of view until we're standing in a sort of strong, steady place. And then from that place, we talk about what's going on. We'll ask you some questions and you don't have to answer any of them. But if one of them strikes you as something that you'd like to answer, then go ahead and answer. Have you had a lot of criticism in your life experience from those around you? Mm -hmm. And do they seem like joyful people? No. <laughs> So maybe their ideas suck. <laughs> so we call that calibrating to humans. And here's the best way that we have ever found of explaining what's going on to you. So every thought you've ever thought, everybody else too, every thought you've ever thought exists within you as a vibrational possibility. It's like you're walking around with this bag of marbles that is magnetic in nature or electronic in nature. It's a technological marvel, really, because it can communicate with all the other marbles in all the other bags that all the other people are walking around with. So when you have a relationship or even a brief encounter with someone, what's active in your bag is the big deal. Like if you just had a fight with someone and then you got in traffic, you're going to attract other ornery drivers. And if there's anybody in the mood to flip somebody off, they're going to find you. 
you're going to hear horn honking and people are going to cut you off in other words those ornery bags of marbles are going to match up with what's active in your experience which could lead you to feel taken advantage of or picked on like you didn't deserve it what I'm just driving down the street minding my own business I signaled I stopped I did all the right things but it doesn't matter what you're doing it matters what you're offering vibrationally because that's how you match up with people so it doesn't feel fair to most humans but we're going to explain something to you that you already know you were born into environments with people already sort of set in their patterns of behavior and you might want to say well what's up with that because I'm sure I didn't choose this on purpose because it has not been fun and we say yeah you did choose it on purpose though because you wanted the exposure to what you didn't want so you could launch rockets of what you did want and you knew that you had a guidance system and you knew that sooner or later and for most people it's later that you would figure out enough is enough of all of this and that you just wouldn't put up with something that did not feel good for so long and that's what causes people like you to turn more inward because you believe that you can't trust them and you know what you can't or you can you can trust them to be as ornery as they've shown you that they are or as negative as they've shown you and of course all of them aren't that way but when some of them that are dominant really get your attention it makes you attract more that are like that and so even though you attract some of everything it can dominantly feel like people are against you when really no one has the power to get into your bag of marbles and cause any discord only you do but when you see the way some people behave and you respond to how they're behaving now your marbles are affected and so then you get more of that so that's why we are here having these conversations because you all have been saying in mass what's going on I thought you said I came here to live a joyous life experience and there are so many ornery people around me that are picking on me and others that I'm not having a very good time and so we show up in a format that you can hear to say to you you've got to decide what you're going to calibrate to and you got two choices you can calibrate to the peanut gallery and there's a lot of good stuff in that peanut gallery or you can calibrate to your inner being who 100% of the time knows who you are why you're here and where you are in relationship to where you want to be now we know you've listened to us for a while you know this it makes sense to you but what are you going to do about it what are any of you going to do about it if you're in a situation maybe your boss doesn't appreciate you maybe you're not being paid anywhere near what you're worth maybe your kids are giving you a hard time or your mate maybe it's coming from your parents or your neighbors or maybe it's coming to you from the television in other words there's all kinds of abuse that is promulgated around this planet that is coming to you or that you're receiving but what we want to do right here and now is we want to give you all of the responsibility for what part of that you let in because you're the only one who is letting it in or not you're the only one that's calibrating toward what you want or toward what you don't want